self-reflection on one's success and failures is needed. If you want to become successful in life, you have to self-reflect daily, right? And if you want to become a failure, do not self-reflect. Now, when I say self-reflect, this is what I mean by that. Every day, you wake up. There's going to be wins and there's going to be losses, a.k.a. lessons. Because you never lose unless you give up and walk away and tuck your tail between your legs. <laughs> Every day, you should be sitting back and you should be analyzing your wins, analyzing your losses, right? And reflecting on how can you become better? How can you change tomorrow? If you took a loss today, right? Ask yourself, what can you do tomorrow to turn that loss into a win? Um, this is how I was able to begin my journey of success. Because... I would often take the time out, whether it's five, whether it's 10, whether it's 20 minutes a day, and sit back in a quiet place and reflect on my wins and reflect on my losses. There was a time in my life where I was taking way too many losses. I'm talking about daily. I'm talking about nothing was going right for me. <laughs> and day after day, after taking those losses, I, I just had to ask myself, why do I keep losing? Why am I waking up every day and continuing to be in the same position that I'm in? Right. And that's because I wasn't self-reflecting. That's because I wasn't sitting back. And coming up with a game plan to change the situation I was in. Right? When you see people move on with their life and go be successful, that's because they was able to self-reflect and make the necessary adjustments in life, right? To fix what they need to fix. And when you see people who are in their 30s, 40s, 50s, and so on and so on, and they end up with nothing, that's because they didn't self-reflect. They didn't self-reflect. And they didn't apply, right? They didn't apply the steps to their life to win. So I'm dropping this video because I need you guys to, you know, take some time off, you know, take some time for you, get in a quiet room, sit back and, ju and ju just reflect, just reflect and just ask yourself. What do I need to do to get out this situation? If you broke right now, ask yourself. What do I need to do financially to get out of this rut? You know, maybe the job you own might not be the job for you, right? How, how, ask yourself, how can I make more money? What type of little hustle can I come up with, right? To get better finances, right? If you in a, if you in a relationship, right? You know, a toxic relationship, you know, you got to sit back and you got to reflect on that. Because at the end of the day, is their relationship good for you? Is this relationship benefit you? <laughs> right? And not only sexual relationships, but friendships. Is this friendship benefiting me? Right? What am I learning in this relationship? Right? Are we excelling? Or are we just sitting around uh, talking about, you know, how much weed we can smoke? Are we just sitting around talking about how many girls can we sleep with? I mean, what are we doing? Right? Because life is all about evolving, right, and getting to the next level in life. And if you and, and, and as a person, if you're not evolving and, and you're not moving up that scale, then listen, you got to start making changes right now at this very moment, right? If you don't make changes, you're going to stay the same and you're going to continue 
to get the same result. Facts. Right? But if you do change and you do, like I said, apply certain systems and certain plans to your life, you're going to win. Self-reflection is vital to your success. And non-self-reflection would be detrimental to your future. Right? Reflect on the good. Reflect on the bad. You know, when you out here winning, just don't focus on the wins. No. You also got you also gotta focus on, okay, if I'm winning right now, what steps can I apply so I don't lose? Right? What steps, what steps can I come up with to to, to guarantee and make sure that I continue to win? Right? And a lot of times when people are winning, right? They 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 not they don't they don't worry about the losses. It's gonna come their way because you're gonna take losses. There's gonna be trials. There's gonna be tribulations. There's gonna be ups. There's gonna be downs. That's part of success. But being successful is all about being prepared. See, you gotta be prepared for the losses, and you also gotta be the, the same way you think you prepare for the wins. You gotta be prepared for the losses. That way. When you do lose, a.k.a. lesson, right, it doesn't really take a toll on you as if you wasn't prepared for it, right? So, this morning, man, sit back, self-reflect <clears throat> on your wins, on your losses, ask yourself, you know, what can you do, right, to continue to win and what can you do to prevent losses and what can you do to change the losses that you are currently experiencing? It's okay. It's a lesson. Reflect and get your life in order. You know, that's my advice to y'all this morning. Peace.